Let's talk about reflected cross-site scripting versus stored cross-site script. Reflected cross-site scripting occurs when an attacker injects browser execu executable code within a single HTTP response. The injected attack is not stored within the application itself. It is non-persistent and only impact users who open a malicious crafted link or third-party web page. So basically, it requires user interaction to in, uh, execute this reflected. See, let's take example this website testphp.vulnweb.com. Okay, there is a HTTP parameter pollution. See this. Now, if I'm uh, finding here for cross site scripting, I will give double quote closing script alert one and a script tag close. See, it's not storing into the web applications. Okay, so if I will send this link to anyone, it will get executed in the target applications, but due to Chrome, it's not a like no problem. So, I'll my new Firefox, new private window. Okay, so this is your victim. Okay, so I, I send this link to some my victim. Okay, if they will interact with this link, yes, then it will get executed. Otherwise, it won't execute. So it requires user interaction to execute this. Okay, so I hope it's clear to you the what's each reflected now stored based let's talk about a stored based now okay stored based so same website test php dot vu ln web dot com yes there is a sign up there's a login let's login and this is a profile updation page so whatever i'm giving here let's giving him a because it's updating into the application so if any user will visit there let's go to private window so I am a new user now. Test PHP dot I will. I am going to the your profile, my profile. I logged in, and I got test PHP. See this because now, what if I will update here this script alert one and let's update this. So this is the hacker browser. Now let's go to client browser. If I just update this page, it's executing. So it's coming. The script is coming from the server now. So it's called a stored based. So <clears throat> I hope it's clear to you what is stored based or get based. Let's turn, let's understand on the live website. See this. This is a woodlandworldwide.com. See this now. There is if I'm firing a script there script alert one script is this. so it's executing but if i'll send this link to anyone then it will execute so see let's go to client browser now if you are visiting woodland worldwide see woodland worldwide.com and it's it's not executing but if you will execute this link if you will visit on this link it will execute so it's a, it's a reflected base. Reflected base requires user interaction. So I hope now it's clear to you. <coughs>